What's the point of this shoe? The Cole Haan Original Grand already has an identity crisis. It's a hybrid shoe, meaning it's not a sneaker, it's not a dress shoe either. It falls somewhere in between. Think jack of all trades, master of none. So what's the point of getting this particular shoe, this hybrid shoe, in the all black colorway? Isn't it better to get it in a colorway like this, the Woodbury on top with the white or ivory sole, or something a bit more formal like the Woodbury color on top and the darker brown sole? And if you're gonna go all black for a very formal dress shoe, why wouldn't you go with something like this, the Allen Edmonds Park Avenue Capitoe Oxford in all black, leather sole, made in America. And if you're going for comfort, what about something like this? The all black Adidas Ultra Boost. This is a super comfortable shoe. If you want a more stylish option than this, you could also go with something like this. The Vans Old School in the black and white colorway, just as long as your feet are okay or you're okay with wearing such a flimsy shoe with minimal to no support. Well, today we're gonna to talk about why these shoes are not only worth getting, they may just be the perfect option for you. Now, there are three main reasons why I decided to purchase these shoes over some other options. Reason number one, I needed new black dress shoes. These are my Allen Edmonds Park Avenue Oxfords in all black, an absolutely amazing shoe. You can, this is the best you can get as far as a dressy formalized dress shoe and as far as bang for buck as well. I paid about 350 for these back 10 years ago, wore them a whole bunch of times, wore them to weddings, wore them to interviews. You can't go wrong with a classic like this, an all black cap toe Oxford and something like Allen Edmonds, notice the minimal creasing right there. Notice that, yeah, the dress shoe, the leather sole has some wear, but I haven't worn these in the rain because leather soles are just gonna get chewed up in the rain. So these shoes are absolutely awesome, the best that you can get. But since this is the first pair of my Allen Edmonds that I ever bought, I got the size totally wrong. They measured me at a 12B as in beta. But after wearing these for only an hour or two, they really start to bother me around here. It really is just way too tight for me. I actually bought these two Allen Edmonds and they stretched them out for me. This is before I purchased my own pair of shoe stretchers. I was a bit scared to do it myself. So once I had them stretch these out, they actually did feel a little bit better. However, after wearing them only for one or two hours, they did start to bother my feet over here still. So these are not shoes that I can wear for longer than an hour. What does that mean? I can't really wear them for longer than a 20 minute walk. I can't wear them if I'm gonna be standing a long time. I've even tried wearing them to some weddings in the past few years and halfway through the wedding, even you know taking a seat and just relaxing my feet, they still really bother me. So these shoes, the absolute wrong size, I can't wear them for longer than an hour. Even wearing them around the apartment and not walking that much at all, they still bother my feet. So I needed a new pair of black dress shoes. Now reason number two, I was not ready to pony up another $400 on a pair of black Allen Edmonds Park Avenues in my correct size 11 and a half E. Now, although 11 and a half E is my proper size in these shoes, I did a video a little while ago where I tried to walk in these shoes for about three or four miles. And while they felt okay at first, they were a bit narrow over here. So I stretched them out. Then they hurt up here. Then they hurt back here. So $400 is a lot of money to pay for a pair of shoes that you can only walk three or four miles in that are still gonna bother your feet even if they are the correct size. Now the Cole Haan Original Grands, I've already worn these and walked in them 10 miles and they are pretty comfortable. They're almost as comfortable as the Adidas Ultra Boost that I showed you before. This is like the most comfortable sneaker I've ever worn. Tried and true comfort, I know for a fact they're not gonna bother my feet. These things are like dress shoes that feel like sneakers. I just don't think about my shoes when I'm wearing these. Another great thing about these is the price. They retail for about $160, $175. I think $169.95 is the absolute retail price. So they come in just under $200 and remember, the Park Avenue's 425 list price, the Cole Haan's 170 list price. That is less than half. Also, to add to the fact that you can usually find these on Amazon for $100 or less, that makes these such a better value and such an easier pill to swallow financially since you can get them for 100 bucks. By the way, these will be linked in the description to Amazon. 
So what do you think? $400 shoe that's gonna hurt you after three miles or $100 shoe that you can walk 10 miles and beyond and your feet are gonna be feeling absolutely fine? I know which one I would choose and it's not this one. It's definitely the Cole Hans. So the third reason, tried and true comfort, but there's also a couple of bonus reasons. And the first one that comes to mind is going to be the water resistance. Now Cole Hans does not call these waterproof or water resistant shoes. They don't advertise that at all. And I can tell you last October, 2023, I was in an outdoor wedding and I happened to have these on my feet. It poured the entire day. I walked through the mud. Well, these did get dirty. They both kept my feet super dry and super warm. And I was expecting my feet to get soaked. And I said, well, whatever, I can get a new pair for a hundred bucks. I'm not really too worried about ruining a pair of $100 shoes as I would be if I had on a pair of $400 shoes, another pro for the price. And that was a nice surprise. And you could even see I've worn these quite a bit. And while yes, there is no comparison as far as the quality of leather, the leather on a $400 Allen Edmonds made in America dress shoe is going to be a lot better than the leather on a sub $200 hybrid shoe that doesn't know what it is as an identity crisis like the Cole Haan Original Grand Wingtip Oxford. But we could see the shoe cleaned up super nice. I threw a shoe trees in them. I conditioned them. And overall, these shoes, there's no water damage at all. They still look awesome. These ones are a little bit more scuffed up. I wear these a little bit more casually as my beater style dressy casual shoes. So that was a big surprise. Your feet are going to be dry for quite a long time if you happen to get caught in a monsoon. And getting caught in a monsoon with something like this, forget it. That leather sole is going to soak up all the water. It's going to both damage the very expensive dress shoe and it's also going to soak through your feet. Now you can get around this by just adding a sole protector to your Allen Edmonds or your expensive leather soled shoes like I did here. This is going to stop the leather sole from being chewed away in wet weather. But I still wouldn't want to get caught in the rain wearing something like the Allen Edmonds McAllister just because they're very expensive. They're very high quality. And I would hate to have a pair of four hundred dollar dress shoes like these ruined because I happened to be in the rain and they got absolutely soaked. Now another nice surprise for these shoes is going to be that it's actually pretty easy to ride a bicycle with flat pedals in these shoes. Are they going to be as good as something like this with a proper grippy sole like that? No, they're not. But my biggest gripe with the Adidas Ultra Boost is while these do grip the pedal, they're just there's, they're not very stiff. It's, there's too much bounce. I do not like riding any of my flat pedal bikes, my bikes with flat pedals in the Adidas Ultra Boost. I always go with something like this, but the Vans Old School or any Vans are not the greatest for walking long distances. So I always had to choose between my long distance walking shoe, my bike riding shoe, and then I have my black dress shoe that just didn't fit and wasn't comfortable. This shoe can do almost the exact same job as the all black Adidas Ultra Boost, the black and white canvas Vans Old School, and the all black dressy Capto Oxford. It's just as comfortable as an Adidas sneaker. You can ride a bicycle in it since it's got that comfortable but stiff outsole that grips the pedal well but doesn't just fold in half. You can dress it up as if it were a black dress shoe, especially if you got it all shined up. It's not going to get ruined in the rain. It's going to keep your feet dry and warm in the rain. And it's super affordable at a hundred bucks or lower right now on Amazon. So the all black Cole Haan original grands are going to be replacing my Allen Edmonds Park Avenues. And these are going to stand in as my all black dress shoes while also doing a lot of things well that the Adidas Ultra Boost can do and the Vans Old School can do. So if you got the same criteria as me and you're looking for an affordable water resistant comfortable, stylish, all black shoe. Definitely give the all black Cole Haan original grand wingtip Oxfords a try. Link below on Amazon. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching.